today on Nebraska Woodster. We got another load of firewood logs in the wood yard. Let's buck them up. Here we go. Hey Woodsters, my name is Mike. As you heard me say here, got another load of firewood logs uh, up here into the wood yard and we've got two or three more sounds like uh, that are going to be coming in here. So we got to get these bucked up and out of the way. As you can tell, that previous pile, get you over here, keep whittling away on that one here, um, just about to the back end of it. So got a few nights here where we got up here and uh, got a few uh, tanks of gas ran through her. So yeah, she's starting to, uh, starting to whittle away. And so time to start procuring some more stuff, but like I said, two or three more loads coming in here, and uh, looks like we got hackberry, uh, mulberry, a little bit of that nasty red elm, but not too much. But looks like a lot of good stuff here, uh, some, some really nice sticks of ash, so pretty excited about uh, getting into that and getting that into the stack drying. So anyway, we're going to get uh, get some of this stuff bucked up here and uh, make some noise up here on the hill. All right, here we go. As you can see this morning, I started on some of these bigger uh, hackberry rounds and just getting into the pile, didn't have the camera with me, but uh, thought this afternoon we'll uh, bring you along with us here and uh, get going. Both those saws needed some touching up, threw a chain off the big clone, and then also uh, doled, out, uh, doled out the other one. So got them both sharpened up, so should be able to, to make some quick work of this pile. So, all right, here we go.
I didn't have it tightened up very well. That's why you can't have nice things. So much power that it un unrattled the uh, nuts on there. Or I forgot to tighten them up, one of the two. So, well, glad I got that on camera for you guys. Really glad my mechanic could watch me do that too. He knows why he has to be around. Yeah. Well, it just kind of feels like one of those days that everything you touch turns to crap or you break it, as you just saw. I'm not prepared to grab another saw and break that one as well. But uh, anyway, kind of a good little session here on this uh, mother load that came in the other day. <clears throat> we'll keep working on this maybe tomorrow morning. I'd like to get this pushed up, uh, get it all cut up and then pushed out uh over uh, closer to that other pile. So if those other truckloads come in, uh, they got plenty of room to get in here and, and get them dumped. So anyway, thanks for coming along with me today. You guys know the program. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the flip side.